Comedians are here, don't bump the table. For the record, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna change all my contacts to that. <laughs> Wait, Thank you, bro. Look at Steve Kaz getting loved as, as the that. brand new co host for the next two weeks here at the New Way Bar. You get some love. Hey, uh, we got a producer, uh, Miles Deleur, for this show. Get out of the way. We got we got we got Noah Chap here for the show. We got we got Jake House here for the show as well. I'm pretty Steve Kaz. You gonna get in the way? I'm pretty too. Hey hey okay. Uh, since this I got comedians in front of me, I feel like I have three pretty truthful opinions in front of me. Uh, four. I, I know. I, Who's better looking here, Steve? <laughs> oh, no. Who's better looking? Yeah, different flavors. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Detroit comedy scene. Him being 20 years younger makes him pretty. Hey, hey, you can't. It's tough to beat you. I gotta overcompensate. I gotta overcompensate with the personality and loyalties and integrity. Trump, because I was born in 
Let's bring the guy that knows nothing about Italian culture. Like everything I say is a surprise. He's like, Mufalata cannolis, what? He's like, what are you trying to do to me? Perhaps you can recommend a nice. What is it? It's a Chinese. You guys are confused. No, no, mufladas are Italian. No, they are. It's a seeded bread. I was doing it with my cousin. Okay, okay yeah. Why, yeah. why don't you just say that? Why you gotta make it? Why you gotta do all that? Yeah, you put a you put a whole it's a whole sub uh, sub sandwich in a bread a mufflada bread. But it's called a muffalata sandwich, and it's delicious, and you're missing out. Why don't they just tell food what it is? Why don't because, you just say, um, obviously you need to learn some puff culture. Puff a lot. That's okay, we all... Puff, come on, baby. Come on, come on now. Well, yeah. Absolutely, we always have strong recommendations. Uh, I can tell you for sure that this muffin is... Steve, Steve, wait. Way. We're going to move on. We're going to move on. Steve, Steve, we're going to move on. It's, it's going to be a lightning round because there's things that you wanted to get to. Uh, as a matter of fact, what we want to talk about is the mic that we want to highlight for the week. It is a show. It is not an open mic, but it is a show, and you want to highlight it. Tell me all about it. Yeah, no. Uh, I, what do I need to be on Tuesdays and Thursdays? Check out Ford Patio. So Ford Patio is a room on by Simply Chanel, dude. It's a really cool room. Um, it's just like, uh, it, it's just like, so basically, like, the room, obviously, like, a room's a room, you're gonna perform in it, there's an audience, you know, they, they, she packs it out, like, always, so you're always gonna be performing to, like, at she's least... She's like the queen of Metro Detroit stand-up comedy. Oh, dude, she, and, so she's one of the first people, too, to, like, act, she'll give you, like, like, for me, since I'm a new comic, like, like, actual good advice, you know, uh -huh. and, uh, like, like, not even, like, like, about your jokes, like, you know, because obviously, like, it's subjective, but, like, to the point where it's, like, hey, like, make sure, like, you know, you're asking for this, make sure you're doing this, like, for business purposes, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's, like, looking out for you, which is, like, I feel like other promoters in the past have just, like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you like, want to name any of those promoters? Do you want to name any of those promoters? I mean... But it's just like, how do you pay this person the cheapest to get them to come here? Where it's like, that's not how she works. It's like, she, make, she makes you feel valued for your, you know, your craft. And like, I feel like those are people who are, definitely should be highlighted. You, you know, know, I've always wanted to have Simply Chanel. Thank you. Thank you for Simply Chanel. Yeah, she she she's, she's awesome. I've always wanted to have her on the show, but I want to make sure that, I want to be able to treat her right. Like, it's like, it's a, you know, like I'm paying you above what, other, because I respect you so much. Like, she's a career. Yeah, I, I I was I always feel weird when it's like some somebody wants to reach out to somebody, but it's like uh, I don't want to respect you with the uh, as we say the uh, the boots. <laughs> Just give her the twenty dollars to put your dick on her forehead. <laughs> okay, that's that's from a woman. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is me hate mail, mail bashing, and I'm like that was rare right from a woman. I can't. <laughs> I just, gotta, I just gotta let you do you. I love how he had to clarify too. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. I want people to watch the show and be like, hey, I was highly entertained. They're like, what? What just happened? I'm like, I just want you to know who said that, okay? Like, I love it. Is that any hate mail? You sent it to Planet Ant, Miles the Road. Miles at Planet Ant. April 1st. <laughs> In her directorial debut. Say some sexist stuff on her show. <laughs> hey, it takes place in 1963. What can be more Oh, you know, they dress in, you're like, are they in character? Like, what? What is going on? It writes itself. It's crazy. Use the promo code women be shopping. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm moving on to the next show. The next show that I wanted to highlight, uh, it's somewhat of an open mic, but it's also a showcase. It's run by two of the best people in stand-up comedy. It's in Dexter, Michigan. Yeah. And it's Greg Sharp and Lisa Lyon. The comedy experiment. Uh, I was telling you earlier what a classy. They set an example for me what class is where they do, at the end of the show, they give you a card. Uh, oh, they, they sent me a Christmas card. I got a Christmas card, <laughs> too. I got a Christmas card. Like, Dude, yeah, like that's how, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, appreciate, like, yeah, dude. It yeah. makes you feel like love, you know what I'm saying? The so, only thing about that, I was like, how'd you get my address? <laughs> like, who's doing your background research? Hey, like, you, sign, you put your address in the Google form. I found that out the hard way. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's okay. You do, you give them your address. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We don't, we don't need to tell people how to do that. Like, <laughs> 
Let's say what we know for off camera instead of like, oh, it's a tutorial on. Uh, here's a tutorial on organized crime. You see what happens is uh, when all the trucks were backed up at the Ambassador Bridge before Valentine's Day, the reason why they had to end the strike is because organized crime is like, oh, all these trucks are sitting here. You want them off the bridge. You want to know how to do organized crime? You do it the old-fashioned way. Can you hey, how, do you think, how do you think all the bars were able to give away the TVs for their for their for their Super Bowl bonus? You know, <laughs> I'm just saying you got people to thank for that. You got people who are putting in hard work. The people to try to end the strike. Thank you, Trump. Who needs Let's Jimmy talk. Hoffa? Do you think Thank Paul needs to start God. talking like this? I think Paul, every time he does a hand movement, it needs to be like pointed up. Does he? Do I, all right, all right, my bad. I have even noticed. Okay, so uh, uh, Steve, your weekend. What did you do this weekend? Did you have a fun show? Like, uh, who did you work with? What's your highlight? Who did a show? Uh, I did a show up in Gaylord. Uh, it was a show, it was like a Valentine's Day show, and it was at a place called BJ's. Woo! Which yeah, is... Right, <laughs> Why didn't you show up? Why didn't you show up? What happened? Get one? Did you get one after? No, no, not at all. It was gay, yeah. It was, I think it was, yeah, no. No, I don't what know. What happened? I don't show up? What happened? I talk about, I talk, I don't think my set screams sex appeal. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about some wild things, you know, so, uh. Facebook stories, dude. <laughs> Man, thirst trapping. Oh my god, now I gotta add. No, don't, don't, don't. This can't hype me up anymore, please. Yeah, exactly. My confidence is already through the roof. What happened in Gaylor, though? Why didn't you show up? Why didn't I show up? No, I showed up. Oh, okay. Oh, my bad. Are you talking about something else? No, no, no. Are you talking about what you did this weekend? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, I'm sitting right here, and everybody was on board. I'm like, I'm like, every, I, what I want to know is what happened at Gaylord. You didn't show. Why didn't you show up? Like, and he's like, no, no, I was there. I was like, oh, okay, so no, no. The only thing that happened, I missed a, I missed a chance to like ride there with a headliner, like a three-hour opportunity. Like basically, you're trapped, like Billy Ray Barr. So he's been doing comedy for 34 years. So like basically, you were gonna be stuck in a car for three hours, and then like. Uh, I was late to pick him up, and he was like, I smoke weed, so I was like, this guy gets it, you know? This guy's getting that I'm gonna be late. And he, he didn't smoke weed with Billy Ray Bauer? Dude, I literally, no, dude, I'm telling you right now, he's really cool, so this is nothing against him, it was me because I didn't communicate, but I literally pulled up to his house and watched him get in his car and just drive off, and I was like, yo, I'm literally here, and he was like, I'm already out the door. <laughs> That was like the most, I was like, it's a three hour drive. We could literally split glass gas. Like, and he's just like, nah, fuck you. Like, and I was like, all right, I messed that one up, all right. <laughs> that was the Gay Lord show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, yeah, no, but he's like, like, like nothing's going to happen. Friday night or Saturday? Uh, Friday night. Friday night. What did you do Saturday? I don't think I, I don't even know if I did anything Saturday. Okay, I'll tell you what I did Saturday. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what you did again, I know what I did. I was at the I was at the Emerald Theater in uh, downtown Mount Clemens. It's a venue that I've always wanted to perform it since I like grew up in the area, uh, like back in the club days. Oh, it was late, like it was incredible. But uh, the ability to uh, have stand up comedy there was amazing. Shout out to Mo Leaks, the Sparkle Network. Mike Ball, Tim Finkel, and Justin DeVizo. Oh, what a fantastic! Guy. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. and you said ML Theater. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I, I, so how many people do you guys like end up stuffing in there? Like a rough estimate, and get and, and exaggerate a little bit up to make the show. So for, <laughs> no, I'm just playing. So about. you have to use your imagination now because it is a theater, and there's a lower bowl. Then you can fit seats, and then there's a second tier bowl where you can fit seats, and then there's the third level that's on top, but then there's also a balcony. So they had the first bowl and the second bowl and part of the third part, but the you could you could fit another 200 people in the balcony. Oh, uh, like crazy. Like nuts. Like That's, nuts. Is that Sweet. Big, dude? Kid Rock did his Christmas concert there. Are you for real? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, dude. Like, no way. watch that concert and you'll no see that venue and be like, what? You can do comedy there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep, and that's uh, with Mo Leach and the Sparkle Network. We don't talk about Kid Rock in this bar anymore, then, dude. <laughs> dude, you. I, we, cut, we cut that. Say, that's, that's the only. Thank you. There's two bad words now. Hey, I 
I would love to see you guys in the back. Oh, my God. I would love it if people had that type of enthusiasm for Frank Sinatra. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, He's like. Dead, Paul. Frank Sinatra is pretty locked His music is eternal. They do Paul in the 70s. I listen to it all day, dude. Hey, and you know what? And uh, and and really, I found Frank Sinatra when I went through one of the worst breakups in my life. <laughs> and Fr I, Frank Sinatra has an album about like his breakup with Eva Gardner, and you can't. And just and I was like, it was so. I'm like, he gets it. <laughs> you are. You, you are. Gets like, it. You are Italian, like a hundred percent through, dude. Like streaming in your veins, like it's insane. It's like, like, <laughs> Italian he was amongst other Italians. And he said, with complete sincerity, I'm the most Italian you can be while still associating with non-Italian. That's, so <laughs> like, that. That's so funny. You listen to Frank Sinatra when you go through breakups, and I listen to like Frank Ocean. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I can't imagine like being like just some dude like, whoa. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's, 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 that's not, yeah. You know? <laughs> what, what, what does Frank Ocean sing? Like, what is his? It, I mean, it's just, it's really just. I don't know, it's like sad. It's Frank Ocean it's makes slide. fucking dudes sound like a blast, honestly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, slide, right? Slide, yeah, slide, dude. He's on, he's, see, I'm the Luther, Luther Vandross, Mary J. Blige, I like. All right, fiddle down, 90s. <laughs> <laughs> Paul and Opip DeVoe. Tony, 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 you know what? I got hooked on Tony, Tony, Tony because of the song. Tony, Tony, Tony has done it again. It was one of those songs where I could, anytime I did something right, I could change the lyrics to Polly Pepper, Tony has done it again. <laughs> I love me some Tony, Tony, Tony. You, you, you struck a sentimental nerve. Right? Now for a few more dollars, maybe you'll mention Ennio Marchione. No. You guys think when Paul bleeds, like, red comes out first, then, like, like white, and then green? <laughs> it's like, I fucking bleed Italian flags, baby. Yeah, it's a big, fat slice of gabagool. Caponato. I, it's, I heard to somebody earlier, they're like, oh, let's eat, let's eat gabagool. I'm like, I have my choice, let's do caponato, okay? It's the eggplant and the olives. Gabagool, gabagool is actually an Italian food? Yeah, it's a cap. Yo, I thought like, that was I thought that was like an Italian it's slur, lunch. I swear to God. It's lunch meat. Like, yeah, yeah, that I literally it's lunch some people lunch use lunch meat. That's all it is. It's lunch meat. That's all. People, yes, it's like, Bro, you like get people talk about gabagool so much, and I'm like, it's lunch meat. Like, why we make it? It's like ham. Ah, I'm like, it's literally yeah, it's like, it's $1.99 at Jimmy John's. Sliced ham. I just had that. Isn't a ham something like? Don't you call somebody a ham? What does ham mean? You guys know? Oh, a ham is a bowl. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, look, overdoing it. You're overdoing it. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what, okay. what Miles is doing right now. Let's so you're a little ham. I'm hamming it up. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if someone's acting a little ham, you could call oh, them a gabba bull. Oh, that yeah, that's a exactly. nice slur. Yeah. Exactly. Paul said like you're being producers tonight. What he should have said is you're being gabba bull. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a, that's a, a Tony dressed up as for Halloween. Uh, <laughs> hey! Gabagool. 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 Hey, you're dressed in black. Yeah, Italians don't have ghosts, they have gabagools. Gabagool. 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 Just a random open mic. What do you, you guys? Oh, like, like you already said, the board patio is like the showcase. That was my yeah, my show. Um, I mean, like an open mic. Like, um, I mean, there's a bunch of people who've been doing. We talked about your Saturday show. Oh, you got a high school. You're doing a show in a high school where you're gonna be 100 percent clean. Yeah. And you, I know you wanted to be clean for this podcast, but you already dropped a couple like f bombs oh, yeah, already. Terrible. Yeah. That's why. So how you gonna so do? Funny. How you gonna do that at a high school like? Uh, uh, how you plan on staying? How much time do you gotta do anyway? It's like one PG seventeen, right? That's yeah, exactly. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Like, if, if I'm gonna try. Last call, guys. We got five minutes. Five, five minutes for last call, everybody. Five minutes for last call. It sounded like I was on a Spirit Airline. <laughs>
Hey, that's how late we do the show. We actually do the show yeah, at, uh, it's actually 1.55 in the morning right now, so. Okay, so, uh, so, so you're, how much time are you doing at this show? The this, this show in Fraser, Honestly, High School I'm, in Fraser, Michigan? I'm a little nervous just because I literally, so it's like, you got, it's Mike Green, who's a, who's a cool dude, he's been doing comedy for a long time, he broke one night stands. But like, I literally sent him like, uh, so like, like he, he already told me like, you're too dirty to work my club, which is like nothing, you know, I was saying against me, like that's just my material, you know? And so they like, basically it was like for my high school and there's this lady who was like, I want you to come like do a set or whatever. And I was like, all right, like it'd be cool to perform for like my old high school and whatnot. But like they wanted to be, like imagine performing to like, like they're just there to support a fundraiser at a comedy club. So not only is it like, you know, just like moms. Who is it? Like, what is it you like, and people who don't even like follow comedy, like I feel like that. You know what right. I'm saying? It's gonna be a good show though. It's gonna be a good yeah, show. I'm gonna have fun with it. I'm he just wasn't like, he's like, ah, oh, so. He's no, giving, I mean, no, I, and you know what? That's real and that's real because you have so many like, you have so many fears about the shows and you just, well, you just expose those fears well, and yeah, just you recognize know. that you can grow from that is you're gonna go into this high school show and this yeah. this gonna be a great show they're gonna they're gonna love you and you're gonna realize how much you've grown up since then no and I mean, uh right i mean either it goes perfectly well and and then the, the community likes me or it bombs and it makes a viral clip of me just fucking cussing at me. <laughs> like you know what i'm saying oh. like i'm advancing my career somehow you know what i'm saying yep. the second i smell danger dude i'm pull, like i'm ripping it dude yeah, yeah. so uh it's gonna be an event regardless you know what i'm saying like obviously i'll keep like to real material, you know what I'm saying? But like, if it's just like, cl like the clean stuff is like not it, dude. I'm gonna definitely like, I'm not bombing. Yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I call that. Yeah, I call that the train going off the tracks. Let's go. crazy. The train going off the tracks. Okay. Uh, so now for the new way tonight, uh, we got Polly's picks. And those are supposed to be my two favorite comedians of the night that did something. Uh, I actually got three that I'm going to go with. It should have been like four or five, but I'm going to just narrow it down to three because it was a big deal last week when I picked half the list. You like 12 people last yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, so you got to keep it like... I'm going to pick Miles DeLu is one of them. First set, fantastic. Second set, fantastic. Plus, you're one of the top comedy producers in Metro Detroit, and you're featuring at the Planet Ant, and I've known you since the very beginning. Uh, and also, people that are going to watch the podcast and be like, who is, I was who were these people who were talking in the background? Yeah. Uh, this is some of our friends, some of our very supportive friends of the show. She's in the beginning, Jake, if you want to, I mean, yeah. so, show your face uh, just real quick, just so people are like, oh, that's who said, say, say something too, so they yeah. hear your voice. Okay. Okay. Gabagool! Okay, okay. Cool. all the elbows back me on the camera. Get out of here, Gabagool! <laughs> Medusa's back there, remember that, <laughs> remember that. Gabagool! <laughs> your cage! Is over there, okay? I'll get back in, in your cage. I'll stay in my crate. Yeah. <laughs> no, get back in there. You're not camera ready yet, okay? Do I, like, do I get food today? Yeah. <laughs> no, you know what I like is I'm gonna wa I'm gonna watch this episode like five times and be like, you know, Paul Pepper told me he's very good looking, and I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look and be like, I wonder what Steve can do different. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Steve's like, do you have any criticisms of my jokes? Now, funny, it was like, no, nah, I just think you can look better. That's all. Yeah. Like, maybe. <laughs> You're looking mad shitty up there. You know? Yeah, you know? He's like, you know what you need to do? You need to go get black pants. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you have any t-shirts that say Italy on it? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you can shop in my private wardrobe. <laughs> uh, anyways, my second comedian, uh, my second comedian, uh, Scott Fisher. Scott Fisher, a comedian that I know for a long time, and Scott Fisher came out and he literally did five, or even like 15 minutes of just material that's kept hitting and hitting and hitting uh, since. So I met Scott when he first met his baby's mama, and uh, he did jokes from that point of his life all the way through, and I was finally entertained. So Scott Fisher. Shout out Scott. Yep, and uh, thirdly, uh, coming out to New Way for two weeks in a row, a comedian I've known for like the past six years, uh, the one, the only, Peggy Beatty. Uh, that's right, that's right, she's, she's fantastic. And uh, who else do we want to hit? Uh, somebody who's gonna be at the end of our showcase, Mark Ridley's the old show lately. I wanted to have a call back from earlier. I don't know, I mean, I think this, this whole episode has been about uh, Two good looking guys on camera having fun. <laughs> 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 
Hey, it's Valentine's Day, and we didn't even talk about relationships. What, what's what's your relationship status like? What's going on? Oh, dude, it's, I'm single. I'm single. Right? You're single for Valentine's Day yeah. consecutively. How's this go for you? <laughs> <laughs> How does that happen for a young guy? Yeah, yeah. Well, you tell me. You, you tell me. I get it all. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you want to snag this hot young bachelor, his phone number is eight one zero. No, call me. At... <laughs> it's a bad moment. Please, please. I was going to say something. Please? <laughs> oh, He's on Cash App. Is that the young guy still call? Did the young guy still call it uh, the B word there? Yeah, he doesn't call it puss. He doesn't call it pussy. What? What did you say? Vagina? No, you say pussy. Yeah. I'm, I'm in the know. You say pussy. You got it. You, you, like when you say, hey, like, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking like, looking for. Down on a girl and I'm like, yo, let me get that vagina. She's going to be like, yeah, no. <laughs> like, you may know may I caress your vulva, miss? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, no, you won't eat that pussy, baby. <laughs> you won't get nasty? <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. You guys are, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's cool. You guys, you guys gotta do your thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so, okay, so, okay, so this is evidently, so, like, like, for me, yeah, it's Valentine's Day, and these are problems that, like, I, that, that concur were, uh, it's like, hey, so, uh, are you gonna do this for Valentine's Day? And it's like, oh, I don't do that. <laughs> Like, but wait a minute, look at the way you look. Like, you look like you're the type of guy who should be doing everything. I'm like, no, I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do that. Oh, you know what else? You know what else you can't do? Hey, Jake House, you know, you know what else you can't do for Valentine's Day? What? You can't run your fingers through my curly hair. <laughs> <laughs> they won't penetrate. They won't go through. No. Like hair gel. <laughs> Dude, people are so... Can I touch it? No, no. It's not, <laughs> I'll tell you why. Come on, let no. me touch it. It's Valentine's no, no, Day. Let me touch yeah. You might be able to flow. I'm a little you might be able to hair follicle, and I'm literally one of those people where, like, all the reason, like, like, oh, I never got the same, like, if you touch a single hair on my head. You know what I'm saying? I'm like the guy where, like, if you fuck up a single curl, <laughs> like, yeah. I'm gonna get a length. No, but they're hair follicles. No, okay, you know what? Okay. No, we stroke that hair. We stroke that hair. Hey, hey, well, wait, just a light wait, one. No, I'm gonna demonstrate. Because seriously, <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm the type of animal where it's like, you know when you go to touch a cat, and it's like if you touch it anywhere, like in the belly, it's like, thing is gonna go weird, okay? So I gotta show you very carefully where it's like, when you touch it, you can, you can take your fingers, and you can put it directly in, there's no rubbing, there's no moving, okay? Okay, let me get it, dude. Oh my god! Yo! Yo, you do that shit. Oh, dude, I don't know, honestly. I thought Paul's it was like a natural look, bro. That boy is like literally, it's like rock hard. Bro. No, Paul's hair is waterproof. Yo. <laughs> That's why. That statue as Kiara, that is my pride Yo. and joy. That's like wild. literally, hey, I, I know, as a guy, I know I have some of the best curly hair. And because of that, I actually stopped going and getting my hair done at salons because like, dude, they, they, Oh, I need to take this much off, and I'm like, ah, you're kind of cutting out the curl. And I was like, you know what? My grandpa was a barber. I can do a much better job. You cut your own hair? So I've been cutting my own hair for like the past 15 years. Really? Yo, you got a nice ass, you got a nice ass lineup, bro. I know. I styled the whole thing myself. You know what helped? I mean, it's I don't know. Damn yeah, yeah, Steve, you, you don't know really help slow. Be good looking. <laughs> I mean, I feel like without that, like maybe the hair doesn't work, uh, the pants don't work. Okay, we're we're probably at a good time. Hey, you know what? Hey, cheers to you being young and maintaining uh, your youth. And you know, some guys they hit like 25, 28, and they they fall. Don't mind that. I'm 22. That can still happen. That can still happen. <laughs> they got blonde hair, like it falls out. Like I, I see the warning sign. I'm telling you, you're gonna see me like in two years. I'm still gonna be at New Way, just fucking hairline receding all the way. I'm, like, I'm still sexy, guys, right? <laughs> <laughs> if hey, if you're at home, work out, stay in shape, eat right, uh, drink water. Drink don't water. drink. No, you know what? Forget Get about the beer. water. <laughs> drink coffee. Eat M and M's, like something like. <laughs> I don't know, smoke candle, smoke, so yeah, smoke candle, filter cigarettes, smoke candle, filter cigarettes, drink coffee, eat cannolis, you know what I'm saying, love your mother, wrap I don't know. Your dick, wrap, wrap up your dick. With my dick? No, wrap, wrap it up, like, like wear a condom. Oh, oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. It's, funny, it's like, I was so, I was on board with everything you were gonna say, Jake. I'm on board with everything Jake says. And as soon as he was like, yeah, wrap it up, like a kind of, and I'm like, I don't work on this. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, that's like an inside thing where it's like, first of all, I don't mess with no dogs. <laughs> like, yeah. Is that bad? Oh, sure, go ahead. Uh, we'll have final closing. No, no, we have any response. No dogs. No dogs? Yeah, like, I stick with the I stick with the human species. I'm one, I'm blind, so. Yeah. What's your name for real? Zoe, yeah. Zoe, Zoe, are, 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 are you Italian? Are you Italian? Um, technically, yeah. Technically, yes, all right. That's a great way to end the show with Zoe. Thank you, Mazda Lou. Thank you, Jake House. Thank you, Zoe. You're beautiful. <laughs>